A Green Country family wants to know how a driver can cause a wreck that kills four people and not receive so much as a traffic ticket. The McIntosh County DA did charge the driver with negligent homicide, but that case was dismissed a year later because the, dribal, the driver is a tribal citizen and the state doesn't have jurisdiction to prosecute. Then, a year after that, prosecutors with the Muskogee Creek Nation decided not to file charges in the case. And that's when the victim's family called News on 6 looking for answers. Erwin and Janet Christensen found each other later in life. They were in their 60s and have been married for 16 years. They had a place at Lake Eufaula where Erwin tinkered with old cars and Janet tended to their garden. They loved camping and fishing and being with their family. They had moved back to the Bristow area to be closer to that family, but still went to the lake to check on their place and pick veggies from their garden. She had a sandwich shop in DP for a while. She's a really good cook, so fried pies was her big thing. So she was kind of known around there for her pies, but yeah. They're pretty good people. They were on their way home from their lake place when they were killed. The news of their death devastated their family. The OHP report says two witnesses told troopers it appeared Courtney Stanton was passing a truck hauling a boat on Highway 266 when she crossed the center line and slammed head on into Irwin and Janet's vehicle. The OHP report says Irwin tried to avoid the crash and swerved over to the shoulder, but it wasn't enough. In addition to killing Irwin and Janet, that crash also killed Stanton's two young children. The report shows the children were buckled into their child seats and Irwin and Janet were wearing seat belts. The only person not restrained was Stanton, who survived. The DA decided they're not going to charge her with her own children, so uh, two counts of negligent homicide. The wreck happened March 29th of 2020, and the McIntosh County DA filed two misdemeanor counts of negligent homicide two months later. One year after the crash, the case was dismissed for lack of jurisdiction. It was moved to the Muskogee Creek Nation Court, but courts were closed due to COVID for months, and when they reopened, Kendra began calling again. May 5th, May 11th, May 12th, May 17th, May 25th. She says on June 6th of this year, a tribal prosecutor told her they decided not to file any charges, calling it a civil matter. Have you had anybody say to this? Well, it's just a tragic accident. No, because it wasn't really an accident. She didn't have a blowout or medical right. It was something that she caused, something she was doing. She says it hurts that they've never received an apology. And while she understands Stanton suffered the loss of her own children, she says Irwin and Janet's family, they're still suffering as well. This has been torture for two years. And it's not just we had a funeral and we've moved on. We literally have had to sell everything they had. We've had to sell their home, their travel trailer, their vehicles are gone, everything, everything's gone. Kendra now hopes federal prosecutors will pick up this case. If not, she says it's going to feel like Irwin and Janet's lives didn't matter. You shouldn't have to fight for this kind of justice. I mean, this is pretty black and white. I'll keep pushing until somebody takes it and, and does something with it. I did call Stanton's attorney, who told me charges should not be filed in this case because it was a tragic accident, not a crime. And he says Stanton had no criminal intent and she's devastated about what happened. He points out that her life has been changed forever with the deaths of her two young children. I also called the Muskogee Creek Nation last week to see why they declined to file in this case. I was told just this afternoon the AG has now reviewed the case and they do plan to file two counts of misdemeanor vehicular homicide against Courtney Stanton. Yeah.